Hello and welcome to this Inkscape for Teachers video. In this video I'll be showing you how you can create a crossword in Inkscape similar to this one or more complicated if you wish. It won't assemble the words automatically but it's still a uh, good word, a way to make a crossword I think quite neatly. Now I'll leave a link to this document in the video description because you might want to use it because the clues are all sort of spaced out or ready to be edited and the main elements up here on the left which won't print because they're outside the page border they're there for you to copy. So I'll drag a marquee around the letter and the border, Control C and Control V here. Now I could Control V another time or two, but then I've got to drag them back into position to lay snap here to create the words. I've got snapping tools on with cusp mode snapping activated, so that uh, is a big help. Snaps to the corners, but I prefer Control D with something selected, and then you can Control drag, Control D. Control drag, control D, control drag, and so on. Control D, con whoops, control drag, yep, there it is. Control D, control drag, I think it was trying to snap to a page. Oh no, it wasn't. Okay, now to edit the words, T for the text tool, and just simply edit the letters or backspace over them or just type over them. I'll just do that for one or two there. Oh, look, that'll do for the moment. And the uh, clue numbers up here, zoom in, control C, and just control V. High magnification, get it pretty right. And uh, control V there as well for the first down clue. And another control V over here. Okay, again, T for text tool to edit those. The left aligned so that should work. First across, first down, and second across, and so on. Now, if you want to edit the clues, which obviously you will want to, uh, one across. Oh, it's already there. Jeff Phillips is cool. Or is he a round shape? Probably both. Um, anyway, just T for the text tool, and you can edit uh, that how you like. Okay. Now, we don't want the uh, answers in the student version, of course, so what I suggest is activating the Layers uh, menu, which is up here, or Control shift l That'll bring this uh, dialog box up, and everything will be on Layer 1, but if we click the plus, we'll create a new layer. We'll call that Answers, and add that. Now, it's actually the active layer. Anything we do from now on will be on Answers, unless we change this back in here to Layer 1. I just did, but um, whatever the case is, let's select one of the letters. I've formatted that as a grey rather than black, so I can select it easily. Edit, select same, fill colour, and now I'll go layer, move selection to layer, move to the answers, click move. Now it's all still visible because all the layers are visible, but in the layers menu now I can select, select this eye shape, turn that off, and that turns off the uh, answers. I can turn them on. You can print out whichever version you want. So I think that's a, a good option. You could format uh, all the, the grey to white but then uh, you'd have to reselect them and turn them back to grey, not black, because then when you hit all the black you'd hide the headings. So I think layers is the simplest way to go. So there we have it, a way to produce Inkscape crosswords. And as I, as I said, I'll leave a link to this document in the video description. Any questions? Leave a comment and uh, I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.